Hello, 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 hello. It's John Akim Shumande again from Agape Love Dasha Ministry coming at you. Today is another day and our broadcast continue. We'll be working on restoration. And today we are looking at restoration from Ezekiel 37, that the dry bone come to life and God's people receive unity. I said the dead nation restored to life. Today I pray everything that represents death in your life, in my life, where we speak life into it right now. I say receive the touch of God. Receive the touch of God. In Ezekiel, we're going to read a few, a few verses. It's a long one, but I'm going to look at it from verse 1 to 14. But I will not be reading 1 to 14 because it's a short broadcast. Okay, so I start with verse 1 of 37. As he great 37, the hand of the Lord came upon me and brought me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley and it was full of bones. Ah, then he caused me to pass by them all around and build there. And behold, there were very many in the open valley and indeed they were very dry. And he said to me, Son of man, can this bone live? So I answered, O oh Lord, only you know. Again he said to me, Prophesy to these bones and say to them, O oh dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus the Lord God to this bone, the Lord God says, Surely I will cause breath to enter into you, and you shall live. I speak prophetically to those who are listening right now. I said every area of death in your life, in my life, in your home, in your family. I said today, I said today, surely as the Lord live it, he said, I will cause breath to enter into you and your family and you shall live. That dry bones, whether it's sickness, whether it's disease, you shall live. There shall be a restoration in the realm of the spirit and in the natural. You shall live. I shall live. Our family shall live. Restoration in every area. Let life begin and let death be cancelled. In the name of Jesus, verses, I will put signs on you and bring flesh upon you, cover you with skin and put breath in you, and you shall live. Then you shall know I am the Lord. The Lord is his speaking. You shall live. Do not entertain fear. Fear represents forget everything you've been told by the scripture. Forget everything and run. And I say you shall bring memory. All these things you have heard shall be brought into your memory. You shall remember them. And so when the enemy come with a lie that you are dying, I say you will say I shall live because the word of God says so. I shall live because the word of God says so. No more death. No more sickness. I shall live. I shall live because the word of God says so. Yes. Verse 7 said, Ah, so I prophesied as I was commanded, and as I prophesied, there was a noise, and suddenly a rattling, and the bones came together bone to bone. Le Korosia have a sonderia. I command the bones now to begin to come back together, bone by bone, bone by bone, and they make wholeness again. I said, a dead nation restored to life. I said, that is what it's all about, restoration. So when we look at this, it says, the hand of the Lord came upon me and brought me out in the spirit and set me down in the midst of the valley. I was full of bones and he caused me to pass by her. And when he passed by her, he also engaged me in discussion. He said, can this bone live? 
So God wanted to say something now. He said, do you believe that this bone can live? Do you believe you can be restored? Do you believe the dead come to back to life? Do you believe that every area of your life that has been made dead by the enemy can come back to life? Do you believe that your finances can come back to life? Do you believe your, your children who have been wayward can be restored? It's coming back to life. Uh, do you believe you can begin to engage with the Lord uh, as you used to in the past? Uh, yes, restoration. Uh, that the Lord Spirit uh, will come to you now. Uh, every day, every day of your life, uh, you will bake. Uh, you bake uh, in the land of the spirits. And the Spirit of God uh, will begin to speak to you. Uh, you begin to hear. You begin to hear with your mind. Huh? Yes. To know what the Lord is saying. Uh, I said, I receive it for myself. Uh, I pray that you receive it too. Uh, he says, right now. Uh, so, what is happening here? The hand of the Lord that came upon the seeker. Remarkable prophetic experience. It's not called specific, specifically a vision. But I believe it's a vision. But seems to be the sense of the phrase brought me out in the spirit of the Lord. Hey, we regard what follows as something Ezekiel saw in a vision, not with his physical sense of sight. The mention of the hand of the Lord indicates prophetic ecstasy, inspiration. Ezekiel was brought out in the spirit of the Lord uh, that is in the vision and set down in the valley. Mm. And this valley was full of bones. Ezekiel saw a like expanse, a valley that was truly dead. A truly dead valley. The floor of the valley was so dense with human bones that it was described as full of bones. Ezekiel saw them all around, noticing there were many in the open valley. There were many dead walking about right now. Uh, they have been made dead in the spirit, uh, but they still walking around. Uh, and there are some that have been made dead. They are not intended to kill them. Uh, they just want to disgrace them. They just wanted to be walking about, uh, walking about uh, like a dead person uh, with life coming to nothing. Uh, I speak your restoration in the name of Jesus. Uh, I speak life now coming to you right now. Uh, I speak a deliverance. In the power and in the name of the Lord Almighty, Yeshua. Hey, the valley that we're talking about is the same as the word in the plain as used in Ezekiel 3.22. And probably the same location. The people represented by these bones were not only dead, they were also disgraced. In the thinking of the ancient Israel and the Near East, ancient Near East, an unburied corpse with exposed remain was a shocking disgrace to the dead. Those bones were obviously denied proper burial. That takes me to the to, to, to the thought that comes to mind. Uh, uh, reading this, I read. And listen in the news too, that in Ukraine, the horrible war going on there, that there's a lot of Russian soldiers body lying about. And the Ukrainian authority were asking the Russian to come and identify and collect. But the Russians were not engaging. Why? They said that if they had engaged, that's some analysis, some, some analysts saying this, that if they have engaged, it will bring on to them the number of deaths which they do not want to accept. But by leaving them there, they're not taking account of them. 
if Russia says it's five dead, then it's five dead. No matter what the Ukrainians say. But once they engage and and uh, and it's official, that it will be seen how terrible they have lost. However, having said that, a dead body is a disgrace in any culture. Dead body left lying valor, not buried, is a disgrace to any person. The dead is dead. But the family in most cultures feel that sense of disgrace. So in this area, it's like these bones were obviously denied of proper burial. This bone lay on the surface of the valley like the remains of the corpse denied a proper burial and led for scavenging buzzards. There are some beds that are scavengers. That's exactly what they are looking for. As an Israelite, and especially as a priest, Ezekiel knew how important was the proper treatment of human corpse. So the vision may have prompted this actual memory of seeing the Israelite dead strewn outside Jerusalem or scattered along the desert that led to Ezekiel and his companion into exile. It may have triggered this vision. Indeed, they were very dry. Apart from the presence of in a living body, bones are dead. Dry bones are not only dead, but they have been long dead. I pray again. Everything that represents dry bones that have been made long dead in your life, in my life, in your family, in my family, I said we call them back to life. In the name of Jesus, bones are what remains when a life has passed away. The soul has gone to, 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 to the Lord for judgment or welcome. They have been long dead. Bones are the remains. And if something never had life, it will not leave bones. Yet, when something has been dead for long, we give up hope. It will never live again. Can this bone live? That's why the Lord was asking. See, that thing that seems like a long time ago to you and I, it's not long to the Lord. So the Lord is saying, and this bone leaves. It's just memory of Lazarus just come back now. They call him Jesus. Ah, your friend Lazarus is dead. He's sick. He's sick. He said, no, I'll come. I'll come. He, left. he waited another three days. By the time he arrived, Lazarus was dead, buried in the tomb. Ah, but Jesus, who have power over life, who have power over every being, every spiritual, physical, every being, he called back Lazarus to life. And Lazarus came out of life, came out of the, of the tomb. And Lazarus came out of the tomb. And while he was coming out, and see the clothes of death wanted to still hold him captive. And he commanded them, take away these clothes of him. Those are the remains that want to hold on to you, who don't want to fully get back restoration they want you to come back to life i said today i command those debris that still hold you and i those cobwebs be taken away i said those voices shall be removed and those fighting and trying to keep you in that place of non-entity that place of vagabond that place of no man's land roaming around doing nothing achieving nothing i said i command those things that now uh, arrest them, uh, bind them, uh, remove them, uh, and uh, destroy their works uh, and set them free. Take that dead clothes off him and come out to life uh, as the Lord seized, uh, as the Lord has spoken. Uh, those things that have been made dead in the past, those things that the enemy want to cease, ah, Lord will not cease concerning you. Because if the Lord ceases and stopped, then it's finished. 
But as long as the Lord is still on the case, on your case, it did not cease. Ah, you shall have life. Ah. You shall have restoration. Ah. You shall have life. You shall have restoration. Ah. So come out of it. Ah. Shake the dead bones away. Yeah. I command the dead bone in your life. Ah. I said, come together. Be the prophet of your life now. Ah. As I am being the prophet of my own life too. Ah. Ah, I said, let's say the Lord. Ah. Let the dead bone live. Ah. Let there be restoration. Ah. Restoration of every part. Ah. And the can't come on the caterpillar have stolen and eaten her. the one that have been made dead we call them back to life uh, we said the bone come back together bone by bone bone by bone uh, and we put the breath of god upon it uh, i said in this moment i'm going to stop her uh, i pray this in the name of jesus uh, i said god is our restorer and let the dry bone live let the dead nation be restored. Uh, the dead nation represents the nation who has known life, who have known God, uh, but have turned their back on it. Uh, I said, I speak now prophetically. Uh, I said, let the Spirit of God begin to minister to the dead nation. Uh, let them come back to life. Uh, let them come back to life. Uh, let them receive uh, Jesus afresh as Lord and Savior. Uh, and let the Spirit of God come upon them. Uh, and then I uh, begin to live. And as I speak to your life, I speak to my life. As I speak to your family, I speak to my family. As I speak to your nation, I speak to my nation. I said, let there be transformation in the name that's above all name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Son. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Guys, like I said, it's a series. We're going to continue next time explore this and give ourselves understanding bye for now don't forget to share don't forget to like don't forget to comment do all these things not because we will, I want our head to pump up because we want people to benefit from it thank you thank you to for subscribing and encourage other people to subscribe bye for now it's john Hakeem Shumadi signing off.